Hello everybody and this is Lady Bell signing on today uh, as I drive home thinking about and listening to uh, ESPN and Jason Garrett and some of the information spoke about or speak about the protests of unity tribute or stance they stance or kneel or whichever one you want to call it um i want to say is there room for anybody to have both sides as an opinion could you really feel that you want to kneel but you also want to stand and so can you have both of those and not be uh, a coon or Uncle Tom or whatever? Could you feel patriotic uh, and definitely patriotic uh, uh, and still want um, brutality, police brutality looked at? We have gotten away from what the real issue is. The real issue was always about pr police brutality. It's not about the unity of uh, unifying the whole football team. That's what happened on this past weekend. Everybody was unified and pissed off about the president calling them son of a bee, son of a bitches. If he could say it, I guess I can. Um, and they were pissed off and unified for that. And then they linked arms and everybody was offended for him saying that. But we were not offended uh, about anybody being killed. Wrong or right in those situations of anybody that's, that's of color that's been killed, whether you feel is wrong or right, the brutality of people of color is lopsided. And that is the issue. And that's the reason why we are. And that's the reason why Kaepernick knelt. But we've gotten away from saying that's the reason into it's an anthem debate and a military debate. And also that it is now we stay, we kneel until Kaepernick gets a job. Okay. What if he gets the job? You remember Michael Sam? came out and everybody said, okay, who's going to hire him? Who's going to hire him? And then uh, Jerry took the, he went ahead, it, uh, it was one other team before Jerry that took the, uh, took the chance and went ahead and did it just to shut everybody up. Never really wanted a guy on this team. He never even wanted that guy on the team. That's what I think. So to fight, to fight to say Kaepernick we kneel until Kaepernick gets a job is going to defeat what we're trying to say we're not that that wasn't even what he was trying to say he was trying to get attention uh, for the police brutality I think even when he's protesting now and what he's saying isn't for his own benefit it isn't for him to get a job it is for him it is for us to recognize police brutality, whether it's by a black man or a white man or a white female or a black female or whoever. It is a mentality of the way people once in uniform feel about people of color, no matter what. Because we do know that people um, that of any other color, because I do know that I work with people that are Hispanic and it happens to them as well. And not saying it don't happen to white people. It's just that they have a they have a greater opportunity to live <laughs> once they are in conflict with the police. Any kind of conflict. The first thing that they're not going to do against uh, are irate or even hysterical or a, a guy with a gun that's white. You're not the first. Uh, defense will not be pulling a gun on that person. That's just that's just it. That's the reason why uh, Kaepernick said, I decide to kneel. Now, but our president, our sitting president, 45, decided to make it a whole nother issue. I'm going to call everybody. I'm going to talk about NBA and NFL and I'm going to piss everybody off that way we can unify them all and we can get away from what career so
that being said, the president is able to bamboozle us, hoodwink us, and lead us into the idea uh, that this thing is about the pledge, the anthem, the flag. I feel conflicted. I feel that if I want to stand and you want to kneel, sit, or whatever, then that's your right and that's your opportunity to express whatever you feel at that moment. And if I want to stand, it, it doesn't make me unpatriotic. I mean, it doesn't make me not understand that we are still mistreated as a race. So, can we feel differently and still be on, uh, on somewhat of a same accord? I think we can. That's my object. That's my objective view of it. I think that we could feel different views on the sitting and standing or kneeling of the flag and military that and still know that as as a race black people sit here and explain to white people all day until we are blue in the face and they are red in the face and they will not get it they will continue to say it is about the flag and they will continue to say it's about the military and they will never see that it's about injustices done to black people because they don't think as black black people have been unjustly done anything wrong but if you say uh go save a whale if you say go uh stop putting uh, uh minks on if you say don't be uh, brutal to dogs or cows or horses, then they are ready to protest and drive and go in the middle of the streets and die for it. But if it is a human, the ultimate human being, on two legs as they are, they have no feelings. That's when they don't have no understanding. Because you cannot tell me you don't have no kind of understanding or what we as a people are trying to tell you it is totally different in the way that you are treated and the way that we are treated as a people i myself my mom my three kids in a car where we had a roadblock saying suspicious car the neighborhood of which we had been carpooling with a lady for five years so it happens we are not lying to you even the police when he saw us he said it must be a mistake were you on this yes we were on that street we carpool with these people every day for five years so you don't get it and you don't get to keep on saying it's about the military it is about the anthem that's a diversion that's a diversion that white people always want to do they always want to divert from, oh, you're still crying, but you're not black. So then you don't know. You're not. Because, and face it, yeah, I have a friend that says she, she's white and she says that, well, my son has been unjustly um, pulled over and I had to get a lawyer and, and, and defend him. I say, well, did he get killed? Did he get to go home? Did he get to, did you get to go up there and say something to him without you going to jail and getting slung to the ground? Yeah, you were able to go up there to meet your son without an issue. Let that be a black person or a black mother. They will sling not only that person and her kids and all them down. They're going to, they, the parent will be slung down for even asking a question. So it is a big difference. It is a, a uh, the issue at hand and like I said if you've read my post Houston we have a problem it is not over it is not going to be fixed in overnight it is not going to be fixed by a owner of a football team or a owner of a basketball team or athletes it's definitely not it brings awareness they have more money than we do so some of them can risk hey if I lose my job today that's what I think that people that's millionaires could say 
like LeBron and uh, Stefan. If I lose my job today, I'm going to be okay. But if my fellow black, other black people lose their job today, they're not going to have the same opportunity to pro Being said, think about it, white people. Think about it, even black people. Because just like I said, can we agree to disagree whether we want to kneel or, or we want to stand? Whether we want to honor the flag or not? That does not take away from the issue at hand. The issue at hand has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with that flag. Has nothing to do with uh, um, the brutality of black people. It was to bring recognition to how black people are, are being uh, mistreated. And it did do that. We, we are recognizing that. And we're having a conversation, but it's nothing to do with how black people are treated. It's all to do with how we treat the flag, a cloth. Not how we treat people, but how we treat the flag, a cloth. What? My husband went to war. And I know how proud I was when we came, when he came to Germany back from war, the Gulf War. I know how proud I felt when I even heard, I didn't, the song God Bless the USA came on and chills came all over me. I know how I felt. That's why I said, can we have a disagreeing uh, um, on that point and still agree that we do something to move forward on our protest that is more than just talking more than just kneeling and more than just standing because it's not getting it's getting us absolutely nowhere i think we need to go in a place where and and even at the bottom line they said well you know jerry he didn't do only reason why he protested was because um, it was the money and guess what? Jerry is in a red state where nobody voted. Um, well, the few people that I know, they voted for um, Trump, I'm sure. Not the few people I know. I'm sorry. The people I, the most people that I know voted like I did. So, that would be no, not for 45. So, um, that being said, Trump um, was able to get uh, the Patriots owner, Kraft, and Jerry Jones, and some of the other, Tomlin and all of them that started talking about him because he came for them. And so by calling him a son of a B. And so Tomlin said, I don't want to participate in all at all. I am about, we are football players and it's about a football game that's about to happen. And I don't want to have anything to do with any politics at all. Stay in, I, I am, as a unified group, we're going to stay in, the, um, in our locker room or in the tunnel. We will not be on the field for the, um, playing of the anthem and just and and these so patriotic people and these uh have to stand or kneel um people didn't start doing it according to Stephen A into 2009 so where was it before then okay uh 